this video, I want to say thanks to our sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned fresh ingredients right to your doorstep as well as seasonal recipes. Tonight, white cheddar Wonder Burgers. We're busy people, as I'm sure you guys are. HelloFresh offers a wide range of quick and easy options. 20 minute meals, low prep options, and easy cleanup. HelloFresh has tons of variety. 50 menu items every week, including low calorie, vegetarian, and gourmet. I'm fancy. <laughs> HelloFresh has more five star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know you'll get something delicious. Fun fact HelloFresh helped us talk our kids into trying a bunch of foods they would never have tried before if it wasn't for HelloFresh. One cool thing about HelloFresh is it isn't just for meals. They also offer a variety of add-ons for breakfast, desserts, and seasonal snacks, like Pillsbury pumpkin cookie dough. They're environmentally conscious. The packaging is all made of recyclable or already recycled content. Go to HelloFresh.com slash OffTheRanch14 and use code OffTheRanch14 to get 14 free meals and 3 free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash OffTheRanch14. My code is OffTheRanch14 and you get 14 free meals and 3 free gifts. Just for you. Oh, good, good. Hi. Um, house update coming soon, but first I have this clip of them installing garage doors that I'm just going to go ahead and play right here because so, it just doesn't fit with the rest of the video. So enjoy watching garage doors go in. Welcome to the episode you guys have all been waiting for forever. Uh, we just need to give you a big update because a ton of stuff has happened since the last video. I don't even know what was in the last video. It was so long ago that we don't know, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and catch you guys up to speed on every single thing that has happened in this house. We have real doors. We have doors. We actually started this whole series right here, you remember? Uh -huh. We walked up to this abandoned house, it was boarded up, tried to get in, it was locked. And I used my truck to pull the door open and then we went in. Here we are, two years later. Let's go. Look at these beautiful doors. Are these getting stained? They are, right? Yeah. Yeah. So these are unfinished right now. They still will be stained. But we have doors, beautiful glass. Um, the most exciting change, in my opinion, is, is this. We have power in the house. I actually don't know what all these switches do yet. Turn that thing on. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, how crazy is this? It's so pretty. Our house has power. We're still missing like a couple fixtures, but for the most part, the fixtures are all in. Um, you'll see a few holes around the house. Those are for speakers. Those are all going in. As soon as we pay the guy, we gotta, we gotta get that back to him. He sent us an invoice for it and we're like, oh yeah, we need to do that. So those are going in soon. You just want to take them on a tour? Kind of walk through, show what's happening? Sure. All right, we're gonna start. Kitchen? Yeah, let's do it. Most of the house is floored. Hardwood floors everywhere. Mayor, please turn on a light. Oh my goodness, this looks like an actual kitchen now. I know. Kind of a mess. But All you right. have an ice maker? Sweet, we can make ice. Can you tell me about these floors? Uh, what about them? They're I mean, wood. what are they? <laughs> you don't know what kind of wood? No. They're, um, they're pretty, that's what I They're know. this uh, special blend of wood from Italy and Japan. Um, it's a Douglas fir mixed with a um, aspen. Sure. All right, that's pretty much it on the floor. Uh, this was here last time, this tile here. But since then, tiled the back of this area. Oh, these are countertops, which you could kind of see, I think, in the last video. And then we also tiled the back of this. And there's a huge vent hood here, which is going to be, this is going to be painted. I assume, is this going to be painted or stained? Do you know? Stained. That will be stained. Yeah. And, and then the plaster stucco will be the same color as the walls. Oh. When the walls get repainted not green. When they're not green. You, they actually don't look green right now, but you can look in there. They see look how, green though. Yeah, that blue color where the lights are off and the sun's like, I mean, it's their sun has not come up yet. We're, it's super early right now. But you can see that kind of blue color. That's what we want to get rid of a little bit. Why can't we go in here? 
I think we can go in here. I was just in here yesterday and they just did the floor. I think that's all this was for. We're just not gonna walk. No, we're going. We're doing it, Mary. Come on. We're in trouble. But it's my house. What can they do? You know? Come on. Come on. I feel like we're sneaking in. We're doing bad things right now. All right, so this is the den. Oh, wait, we have lights. What are we doing? Never mind. No lights in here. We're still missing these three lights. I thought those would turn on. Why? So these lights um, were actually right here to start, and then we built this and realized they were too far that way, so we cut them, moved them all. We haven't come sheetrocked over the holes yet. Dang, this is cool. Okay, this is a little breakfast room area where I'm gonna sit and eat my breakfast and look out here. The first time that we showed you guys, we came and I was right there and this window was broken and boarded up and there was a little tiny hole in it <laughs> that I could look through and see that view. And that was the only way you could see the view because you couldn't get to the porch out here without a ladder because it was like 10 feet off the ground. And so the only way to see this view was to come peep through this little bitty hole right there to see out there and I was like, Dang. Look how far we've come. That's sick. Yeah. Now we have a window. <laughs> We're really moving on up. Yeah. We also do have water hooked up to the house. It is actually turned off right now because they were installing a couple more faucets. But most of the plumbing fixtures are installed. Most of the toilets are installed. I'm pretty sure that we can go number two in our house. Which I haven't done yet. This is our bedroom. Let's show these lights. Mayor's got some fancy lights everywhere. Dang. This is cool. Really excited for this one. With that view too, with this hardwood, Douglas fir, I don't remember what I made up, but it's, it's wood, it's nice. Let's go check out the bathroom. Uh, we have, this is where the bed's gonna go. There's gonna be one of these on each side of the bed. We broke that one, um, so we're, we gotta order another one. We are moving toward Mayor's possibly favorite part about the entire house. You tell me if that's a lie or not. <laughs> part. Okay, let's see. Oh wait. The the fireplace in our bedroom is. Oh yeah, that is pretty sick. Dang. This is our bathroom. And we can already see it. It looks awesome. So Mary got this giant bathtub. It's like I don't know, like 900 pounds or something. And it's super. It's more than that. What is it? I think it was over a thousand. Jeez. So big old heavy. I mean, it is just three inches thick concrete all the way around. Totally heavy and not worth it in my opinion. We could have got one of those plastic tubs that has like the shower liner behind it. Would have been way easier. Oh, you got a chandelier in here too. Court, sorta, you call that chandelier? Yeah. Is it supposed to be crooked? No, he said they need to adjust it still. Cool. Uh, we still do need to fill in over here. So this is how it gets plumbing and drain and everything and so that's gonna have a big thing that comes up and over the bathtub right there to fill up. I just feel like this is a good way to make a big mess of a bathtub like this. Because I'm gonna cannonball in it when it's totally full. I would install some drains around the rest of the room. my relaxation. Sorry, but did you see that view? You can see it from the bathtub if you turn the other way. Oh, I should. Yeah, that's, that's the way. Can you actually see it or are you just gonna be looking at the no, sky? No, you can see the sky. It's all sky, which would be pretty cool too, but. You can see the stars at night. Oh, that's true. Total pitch black baths. Okay, Check out the go stars. Okay, we with the rest of the house. I'm just gonna be here. All right, all right, enjoy yourself. Uh, there's a shower. Whatever, whatever, no one cares about this. <laughs> I'm really good at doing tours. Look, a toilet, and there's lights in here, and there's water in the toilet. I could probably flip, yeah, I'm doing it. No big deal, we have flushing toilets here.
now so the floor is all covered so that it doesn't get scratched up or dinged up, or things dropped on it. But this floor is all done up here. God, this house looks so good. So you can see walls are still need their final coat of paint. They basically paint the whole house and then they finish everything and then they come paint it all again because stuff gets hit, torn up, stuff gets chipped. This is Lincoln's bathroom. When are like mirrors and stuff coming in? Uh, that's a mirror right there. That was quick. When's my Ferrari coming in? Huh. Lincoln shower looking great. You've seen this tile before. Had to fix a pipe in the wall, so need to sheetrock that again. But toilet as well. This is done, all right? Except for a mirror and a last coat of paint. Lincoln's bathroom is done. Blue floor really helps to bring out the blue in the walls too. Uh -huh. Great. I can't wait till everything's done and clean. Like we clean the windows and it's gonna be so cool. You see we have all the trim done, all the quarter round done. So this room is ready for final coat of paint, which is super nice. Closet, done, lights on, beautiful. Addie's room, whoa. Fan works, closet has a pocket door. Dang, look at that. All these doors are finished too, that's, that's what they're gonna look like. This also has a pocket door, so Addie's room is the only one that we put pocket doors in because um, just, there's not, I don't know, the way the doors would swing. It's like the two doors on one wall and just like... Yeah, they would just take up a lot of room. So we have two pocket doors on our bathroom and a closet. And this bathroom is done. We have lights, we have tile. That's all tiled up with a mermaid tile. And freaking awesome. Okay, can we talk about how much this hall upstairs has changed since we moved in? Yeah, that's... This is like the only space that we really like redid walls. Yeah. Like there was no space out here. Yeah, there was a tiny hallway. Basically this that- all came to, how did it work? There, this was all open here. And there was this tiny hallway. And there was here. a doorway here and a wall there. That went to a bedroom yep. and a bathroom. But then there was a balcony yep. on the bedroom Yep. that we closed in. So this little bump out here, all like basically back to here, was just a balcony that Mare and I sat on and had dinner. We would come up here and have a bottle of wine and just watch the sunset up on that balcony. It was the best place. It was the best place to sit and chill. But we were scared of having teenagers for the second floor balcony. Yeah, I mean, it's a 30 foot drop. So we were like, let's close that in. We still left windows that open, which probably shouldn't have done, but. Yeah, I mean, these windows, I'm probably just gonna disable them until our kids are like 25. True. <laughs> Hope they're not living with us when they're 25. Why are you in the dark? We have lights. Oh. Oh, uh, that light didn't turn on. House is already breaking. I know what we didn't talk about. We have air conditioners. Oh yeah. That was what actually took forever, was getting all the air conditioner units because just like everything, they're, the problem? Yeah, they're really hard to get right now. Why is this clicking so much? This AC is making a lot of noise. There's an AC in there. And I don't know why it's clicking so much. It's turning on and off. So we got some ACs, some of them are broken. Whatever, whatever. Annie's room, possibly the coolest chandelier ever. Look at that. She is very pumped about that little snowflake sparkly chandelier thing. What did she call it? Her princess disco ball? Did she? <laughs> and his bathroom is done. We got lights. We need mirrors. She has closet. Lights as well. Floor is done. Floor is done. I think they still need to do like their little transition pieces, but oh, uh, this one doesn't have. Well, it has cord around there. I don't. Do you not put cord around against that? I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, that already has trim. I see. On top of it. Yep. So trim is done in this room as well. So funny story about this room. It's kind of like separated from the other two. You gotta go a couple more stairs. It has probably the best view and the biggest bathroom. It's got the pool view too. And Matt and I were like, how are we gonna decide who gets this room? It's the highest room. And then... So there, those two rooms are down three stairs. You get to come up here to go to this room. It's off by itself, sort of. Yeah, and so we came in one day and Adeline and Lincoln were bickering over which one of those two rooms each of them get. And Annie just moseyed up here and was like, 
I guess I'll take this one. Yeah. Really? The other two kids were fighting over the less cool rooms. <laughs> and Annie was like, she was the last one to pick a room. So she was like, all right, this I is my this room. Will be fine. And Mary and I were like, that's the good room. <laughs> Like, how did Annie just score this room without a fight? She did some like, some mind games with them, I think. She probably like put it in. She's like, man, heads first. those rooms She's are like, cool over there. That one? Guys, that one's gonna be so cool and that one's got a cool shower. We got water. It's actually turned off right now, it's just draining. Uh, but we do have water hooked up, drains working. This is a little half bath, which there is not a toilet in here yet. No. But it's almost done. Just a little, what do you call these, powder rooms? Uh, but look at these cute little lights. I actually don't like them. It would be cool with a mirror in here. Yeah. Make this small little room look bigger. What do you do for this where the door just hits the, this is under the stairs? I don't know. Do you, do you, you put a stop like up a there? Stop up here? I would assume so, right? Yeah. Or does it hit the toilet first? This is a tight, it's a tight room. This is a laundry room. Nice, it's kind of dark right now because the lights are all covered up. But this is where Mare will probably spend 50% of her time. Um, half in the kitchen and half in the laundry room. Love ya! Mare's office. Oh, I hadn't seen that light on yet. That's cool. Very nice. And we need to install the Murphy bed soon. There's gonna be a little fold down bed right there, which would be really cool. It's an office slash guest area. Nice little porch over here. All the porches have fans and lights and speakers, which is super cool. And all that wood's done, so awesome. We're gonna have a fire pit right here. We just walk through and Mary goes, oh look, they put the hooks. It's the little things, guys. I'm gonna hang so much stuff on there. We have uh, guys coming very soon. Oh, look at the sun coming through those clouds over there. We have guys coming very soon to coat the garage floor, which is gonna make it look super good. Motion detector lights went off, so we have light in here, which is cool. Plus we got more lights. My shop over there is gonna be awesome. Uh, but otherwise, nothing big has changed in the garage. Soon though, I'll show you that, it's gonna be so good looking. But we do have four garage doors that look sick. Fan, oh, the beam. It's so pretty. So pretty. So this is the, above the garage, there, is, there are two rooms. There's an apartment and there's a gym. And so we're in the gym right now. We got lights, fan works, oh yeah. This is the gym, another light over here. This is where, I'm gonna get super swole, and Mary won't be able to keep her hands off of me because my abs will be so crazy. And then little apartment over here, it's done as well. Little uh, kitchenette here. What is it, mini fridge and like a microwave or something? Is that the plan? Are we doing a microwave? I don't know what this is for. That's for sure for a microwave. No, because I don't know. Well, maybe that's just for like under cabinet lights. I don't know. Look at that tile. So good. This is where, uh, when you guys come over to our house, this is where you'll get naked. Don't come to our house. Check it out. We got some air conditioners. Fancy, fancy. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a pool. Not a ton has changed on the outside of the house because we've been waiting on stuff. Um, but now we are about ready to start bringing all the dirt in. We still want to bring the levels up. You can see we brought this up from here. It's actually really hard to tell on camera, but there's a good four foot change there so we're gonna bring everything up that much at least and maybe more um, and then have a transition coming from our porch down to our pool which is a probably a good eight foot drop right now the morning view up here is so crazy the Sun coming through the clouds <sighs> okay sorry I got distracted but look at that view so pool not much has changed you can see we do have all the coping here so they're about ready to start that's what you call that right yeah it always seems weird. They're about ready to start putting all that around the edge of the pool. And we have all the plumbing going everywhere. You can see all these white and gray pipes everywhere. And then all these pipes over here going to the pool, feeding all of our little inlets and outlets and everything. And then they all get in a big road over here heading back around. They end up right there where all of our pool equipment's gonna go, so that's right behind our closet. Um, so it's not like you'll really hear that. And we're gonna build a little concrete wall around that as well, so it'll kind of mask all that. But all these pipes, that's where they'll be, but they'll all be underground. So all this ground is coming up. Let's get out of here, it's freezing out here. Oh, look at the view though, Mary, did you see that? Coming up soon is moving. <laughs> I mean, like, we're really close. We have appliances left, like there's no fridge and stove and that kind of thing yet, dishwasher, 
Um, and then like a couple more electrical and plumbing fixtures, but most of them are done. And the floor is gonna be finished up in like a few days. Like it's al trim work. almost done, trim's and almost paint. done, and then paint. And so all very boring things coming up on the inside of the house. So I think the next big thing is gonna be outside of the house stuff. We have tons of landscaping to do. We need a driveway out here. We need sidewalks and we need dirt. We, I gotta bring in a bunch of dirt. I think I'm gonna start digging up dirt from other places on the property to bring here to bring up that ground. And then we need topsoil, which we have some down the lower parts of the property, just steal it. And we have a house, but we don't have to do all that before we move in. We just gotta get the inside done. We can, we can live here? Maybe someday. So, Demolisha, soon we are moving in to this house on top of the hill and starting the next chapter and closing the old chapter, which is kind of sad. Yes. But we'll make it. So, sorry for the huge delay in videos. I'll, it'll never happen again. You guys know me. I'm super on time with everything, always on the perfect schedule. Not for sure happen again. But I appreciate you guys having the patience, waiting on these things, and we will have more episodes to come. And very soon, a move-in episode, which is what I have been waiting for forever. It's been two years. Two and a half almost. It's been like seven years. But it's happening. Thanks so much for watching this episode of finishing a not small, not abandoned house on the hill with a beautiful view. We love you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>